What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Planet of Doubt podcast, where we doubt everything. I'm here with the squad. My name is Chris. Six drive in the building. I see you. It's your boy, John Lewis. Welcome back to the channel, Planet of Doubt. This is our podcast. This is episode 12, you said, Chris? Yeah, number 12. I had to make sure because I feel like I've been here, but not really. <laughs> uh, uh, I, me and uh, Chris were a little sick, but I'm feeling better. Thank you, God. Chris is basically Same. there as well um corona free once again i got tested i'm out here dodging bopping and weaving this shit dog. <laughs> literally like every time i take a test and i'm good i'm like well we live to fight another day <laughs> like and then that's the scary part that we might have to keep doing these like every three to yeah. two months like that shit's fucking weird that's nice. um thank but- god thank god you tested Negative because <laughs> if you ha- if you had it, I was ready to declare. It. All right, I have it too. Fuck it, uh, I'm treating it as if I have it, and I'm not getting sure. tested. Yeah, I'm not sticking that shit up my nose. Nah, Fuck. They, this time this testing was worse than the first one that I did. Like they were. Oh my god, fam, that shit was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like the lady was like, I can't get what I need. And I'm like, fam, you've been in here for. 35 seconds <laughs> Jesus Christ yeah. And then I guess When she put it Pause She put it in <laughs> Deep I coughed And then I guess That's when She got what she needed I'm like, I felt violated right Point of the story Coughed two times <laughs> But So yeah I'm thankful to Be feeling better um, Which is Nowadays You just gotta be thankful For that for sure yeah, It's hard in the streets <laughs> oh, I know the streets. Jose uh, Got a visit <laughs> <laughs> I know a friend visited you, you today or yesterday smoking oh, hookah. Oh, oh my god. god. How are you feeling? <laughs> friend, my cousin, my family. <laughs> nah, I'm well, I mean, uh, through. Yeah, yeah, so we'll know in five days if I have something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, because I know you were nervous the first time, but this time she was in there even deeper. <laughs> Pause, but- <laughs> yeah, you know, is, oh, time out. People at home. <laughs> we gotta we gotta refresh this whole podcast. The susness is everywhere. Well, it's, um, it's you, Chris. I heard something happen to Annabelle. You know, we're not talking about that. This is a podcast. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. All right, three, two, one. Yeah, so Chris, I heard you did some sus shit in. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're coming back. <laughs> That's how we're starting. Fuck no. You better pause that shit. We're redoing this. Hell no. All right. So, yeah. So, basically, everybody just stay safe out there. This shit is still real out here. Any updates as in how your weeks have been going or has been going this week so far? Um, I mean, just trying to kick this cold that we had. <laughs> I, think, I think we've both done a pretty solid job. Um, I've been quarantined ever since I pretty much came back, and I feel good, thankfully. How's it looking in Jersey as far as, like, are you guys open a little bit more or less or, like, dining in yet or not? Um, Other than dining in, I think everything else is pretty much open. And, yeah, I think other than dining in, everything else is pretty much open. So we're doing all right, but our cases are, are low, like, really low. Um, like, we're one of, we're one of the best states. fact check that, before. Chris, hold up. <laughs> do whatever you want and it's weird for us because somebody told me something I, I i'm very misinformed so i have no idea but there's something going on this week that is not even going to allow florida to like it's not even going to really allow us to know how our cases have been because of something that, because of the hurricane last week that's why what so did it have to because, do because of the hurricane last week all the testing centers were closed for like maybe like four days or something so so like all those numbers are like miscalculated mm-hmm. from then and stuff like that so this is gonna right. throw people off basically how did that hurricane hit you guys it, it i left right into it time. didn't hit us nothing like oh, us yeah. pr- us in our zone no it didn't i know it didn't hit miami didn't hit like our area either maybe north palm beach or but not like anything seriously crazy enough my town actually got a pretty crazy storm and like the power was out in like the whole town for like a day or two which is yeah. fucking crazy i haven't seen anything like that well that's happened to us before but it's been a while i actually like i said in the podcast before i don't lose power i actually lost power for like uh, a few a few minutes nothing crazy but it usually doesn't happen so i guess yeah. it hit us harder than than it hit you guys because we yeah. got a, we got affected up here mm. 
Yeah, we got lucky. It like passed like right by us. Yeah. Um, but I hit the, I hit y'all with the Manny with the quick work update. Uh, I'm working in two separate malls now. I work at Sawgrass and Aventura Mall. <laughs> and no, it's a terrible thing. And yeah. I'm not gonna get into like how much I hate it, but. Aventura Mall is definitely the worst place to be right now if you're trying to stay away oh, from yeah, people. No, I work at Sawgrass, and Sawgrass is the biggest tourist uh, yeah, mall for in Florida. International stuff. Yeah, and Aventura Mall dog takes the cake. Like, it looks, it doesn't, not only does it look like a normal, <laughs> like a normal week, it looks like we're going Christmas, like Black Friday shopping. Like, God, people damn. are out there. Heavy families, friends, like it doesn't matter. Nobody's like weirdly like staying away from each other. People just walking by, no problem. The only thing that's kind of like separated a little bit is like the food court. Like they're not really letting people sit and eat. But if you leave the food court, it looks like Black Friday, like all over again. Like Tory Burch has a, a line outside. Crocs has a line outside, and I, we're like in front of Crocs. Crocs <laughs> like, twenty twenty. You know, <laughs> all the businesses are booming. <laughs> Yeah, just, dog. So people are just bored. I, They're trying to buy everything, right? So, and that's another reason why I don't mind getting tested as often as I can because I'm freaking literally going to two places that are like the hot spots right now. No, so crazy. please just stay at home, dog. Jesus Christ, <laughs> you don't need this white button now that bad, dog. Like I promise you, you can just buy it at ASOS. <laughs> like, Where are you gonna wear it? You're gonna wear it to the. That's what room? I'm saying. That's the thing, dog. People in Florida, yeah. we just they're just out here, dog. I don't see everybody I don't got see a party it slowing down. Y'all got no rules and, and that's the thing They're not reporting it So it, it seems like It's just all good Oh well, yeah But I, I feel like Once that Second stimulus checks hit People are gonna even be worse. Shopping well, even more did, <laughs> Didn't that Didn't they approve it today Like a few hours ago A new um, uh, A new plan for unemployment I believe Oh what? Yeah, yeah, yeah Where plan, We're not getting We're not getting 600 anymore Well You're back to work so <laughs> I know but this is Important to me too Because Within this new package rollout, they're supposed to uh, incentivize people who are working as well. So I'm trying to hear what the hell y'all saying. Well, I just know that that we're not getting 600 anymore, but we're getting 400 um, oh. until <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> How could they? <laughs> it's still it's still December too, so it's a pretty lengthy extension. I don't know about all that compensation for you guys for oh, workers. I'm gonna find out, goddamn it! <laughs> I was like, pull it up. Yeah, because they're supposed to... I'll look it up. I'll look it up. The the rumor before was that they were going to take the... They were going to give the 1,200 stimulus again to everybody who got it the first time, but they weren't going to do the 400 plus the unemployment check. And people who are working were either going to get a plus $400 on their check, on top of their check, or their salary rate was going to get increased to like four to five more dollars or whatever. So none of that. There's nothing. There's no news on any of that shit. Well, I know with the stimulus package, um, that's actually still in the works because it, they need both parties to agree on on what it is, what's the final outcome going to be, and they keep disagreeing with each other. So like every day is just disagreement, disagreement. And this last Friday was supposed to be the decision making, and they still disagreed. So now supposedly it's supposed to go tor- towards the president, and he's supposed to like make an official. Uh, executive order to to follow up on that. So like, so we have news on the stimulus and unemployment, but not with the people who are actually employed. I, I'm not sure with the with that specific I'm thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not seeing anything. Because the whole thing was that people don't want to work, so they were going to yeah. give them extra money to I feel like that, they can. I think that might fall under the company itself, like your official company, if they would provide that. I think that has to do with that because I know with like Target, they did start paying people more because of their working in these times and other places too. I just think that falls under the company itself. But I don't know. Yeah, I think that, that, that's, check it. that's definitely a, like an incentivized thing and they should do it to, to workers who, because anybody working out right now. I got a, I got very, something. Um, difficult it says, place. it says, right, Jamie, tell us. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe. And the, <laughs> and the fourth action, the first payroll tax collection for workers earning less than 100000 a year. Beginning September 1st, this will mean a bigger paycheck for working families as we uh, race to produce a vaccine. 
and for this China virus. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> Once and for all, Trump told reporters <laughs> the China virus. <laughs> this man. <laughs> but I, I guess it's saying that, that there'll be a little bit extra on your paycheck. So I'll good. find out later. I'm, I'm sure my mom will <laughs> be like, did you hear? <laughs> Yeah, well, that, that's how I found out. Friend, <laughs> they're they're ahead of all this stuff, right? Yeah, and, well, they're watching the news twenty four seven. And I saw some some schools already opened. I'm um, not here in South Florida, but like I know in in um, North Georgia they've opened, and some in California, things are not looking well, pretty. <laughs> so my mom is a teacher, and she her she is back in school physically with the administration. But I don't think that the school starts till like a week to two from now, and I mm-hmm. think they're gonna stick to Zoom. And then my sister yeah, is right. also working in the school, and same thing. But I did hear that there is some schools. I don't know if it's in this state that they're doing like the half and half, like they're doing like half Zoom, half. <laughs> Shit makes no sense. That. Yeah, it, it definitely depends on the on the officials and mayors and school districts and whatever like that i know here in south florida they're mainly trying to stick to online learning and stuff like that but yeah like yeah. more up north they're not they're going like into school and stuff um this girl actually it, that i saw that got reported in somewhere in georgia a school in a high, a high school and she took a picture of the hallway that's sh- that thing was packed like sardines like the hallway was packed like a hundred students just walking through the classes yeah, their so, mask on. It's it, the the thing with that school specifically. They said they're doing um, it's not mandatory. It's optional mask for that school. That's terrible. Uh, yeah, but that's another thing. Even if you reduce the population in the in the area, mm-hmm. boy, as soon as that bell rings, everybody's in the hallways. <laughs> so it yeah. doesn't even matter how many people. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we we don't have a thousand students, but we have 500. 500 yeah. people in the fucking hallway is still crazy. So, so <laughs> no, yeah, right, so, right. so she took that picture and she sent it, I guess. It got so pop on viral that it went to the news. And once it did that, the school actually suspended her because of that. Um, so the, I'll take that. The school what? blamed I'm the, the school this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so she did it because she, she was like, all these kids, they're they're bound to get something, you know. Like it's impossible that not one kid is not gonna get something. Like that. Sure, I'm about to take a picture of this <laughs> Aventura hallway and then see what happens. <laughs> so, <laughs> see what happens. Yeah. Then. So yeah, so like the school suspended her, and they 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 went they basically went the technical route and blamed it on oh you're not supposed to take pictures or phones outside or during school and stuff like that. So they blamed it on that, and they're mm-hmm. like um. The situation with the kids going the hallway, they're like, oh, they're just passing through their next class, and that's not a big deal. So, yeah, this thing is... Oh, not that's the <laughs> one moment where it is a big deal, because yeah, that's when everybody's that's passing right. each other. Of course. Uh, whatever, man. Just We'll see how this shit keeps unfolding worldwide and nationwide, and it's on your Austin. side. <laughs> Austin. <laughs> Geico. <laughs> Let's talk about the the versus battle that happened let's do like a quick recap on that well first let's let's acknowledge that it's so far is our most viewed video on the channel yeah, so thank you guys for watching it and that tells us a couple things it could be misleading but you guys definitely want to see that type of content so we're going to try to do them as um, as frequent as we can and it also kind of depends on who's battling as yeah, well exactly. <laughs> you know like you know uh, but so yeah, we'll continue to do that for you guys, and the setup will be better. I was on my phone that day and stuff like that, so we'll we'll get it together. But thank you for viewing. But yeah, I mean, I'm weirded. At, first of all, Ross, what has been doing interviews since um since the battle, which was like three days ago or whatever, mm-hmm. and he was like, he was like, dog. That was my pre warm up like battle. Like I want a real battle. Like I have really? a real yeah. He was that? like I have. Yeah, and I look like it. it, it and then like when it. he was naming the songs, I was like, "Damn, he really." He was like, "Dude, I have a." He's like, "I didn't even play my number one records. I didn't even play my other Jay Z shit. My other like." He was saying, "Like, I have a twenty for somebody else." So, <laughs> first of all, that's kind of this is this would be the first time that somebody yeah. who already did the verses does it again. Consider doing it again, and that's I don't know one. if we would enjoy that. I don't know. Like, I. I 
I would want to see other people first yeah. before we start no, doubling down. It can't like happen like next week or whatever. It has to like right. take its time, or whatever. But I would like to see that again, like maybe someone else. Um, that's that's the thing. I feel like I would wouldn't mind it if we start to like run out of people to versus. But mm. so I like the the new faces or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, I don't disagree with him. I I because. I realized he didn't play sanctified and oh, like yeah, stuff like that. I was like, and like I said, was saying like the the DJ Khaled records, like I'm so hood and shit like that. So he does. He's like, yo, I have like a brand new twenty that I can play all my Maybach music, <laughs> like mm-hmm. and be good. Um, which is like kind of trying two chains, but everybody yeah. knew the no, deal. Trying, right? <laughs> trying to trying to shout out two chains. Yeah, I, but two chains that. knows though. He oh knows yeah, for that. sure, for sure. But I'd still be like, damn. I kind of feel bad for two chains. <laughs> <laughs> and like he kept saying, like, oh, this is not going right. against this song because he knew, right. he knew. It was like, but he had the best moment of that the whole time, the whole battle though. Like, what the oh, yeah. when he brought out the <laughs> I'm not mad at the verses at all. Like even though it wasn't. Yeah, like it wasn't a an fair, ideal matchup. Um, it wasn't boring. Yeah, it was, take, it was I'll definitely take entertaining and it was fun to watch. And it was still good music. I enjoyed mm-hmm. most of the songs and stuff like that. Yeah, Doug. I, I believe Ross when he says he has another 20 because I was hearing the songs and I was like, first of all, at least like three or four of them were either unreleased mm. um, songs that people really don't didn't recognize or don't remember. And then I think he played like one or two Maybach music uh, songs like uh, yeah. back in the day. He did. He which people, awesome which, music. which people recognize, but not as much as they would as his hits. So him saying he has another twenty, because I remember after the Zoom, ICL started just playing off a whole bunch of other Ross records. Oh yeah, it's and fire. we we're like, holy shit, he didn't play these, and and they're yeah, they were fire though. Oh, um, Devil's really Lie with Jay Z, a bunch of other songs. It's like yeah, I believe that Ross has another twenty, and I think he can compete with someone else. I think I think the Two Chains DJ was whack. I felt like his timing was so bad, or like. Or maybe, well, remember though, they, it's not the DJ's fault. They they planned this. Yeah, they, they definitely planned it. But the, two chains definitely it. has the last the last say on what yeah. is gonna get played. Yeah, and he or was maybe, very clear about like he's not competing. Uh, he's just like whatever. Yeah. You know? Or maybe some of the ver- or the the verses or features that he played for himself. I, I guess they just didn't hit the same or didn't age as well as and he just needed a different co- a partner for it. that's really it he just yeah. needed a different person to battle it just still, wasn't fair still yeah. a two chains fan though he still got some hits so oh yeah for sure yeah and, and I enjoyed it it's funny cause like um, Bow Wow is actually hell no I think he wants to to do it like he, he commented on one of the the posts that Versus posted about Rick mm-hmm. Ross and then um, I think people want him to battle Soldier Boy I heard that rumor, but uh, Soldier Boy doesn't have twenty hits though. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he does either. That's that's the problem. Soldier Boy has four to five hits that that during our lifetime did mm-hmm. something. Yeah, and it course. changed the game. You know what I'm saying? But number Bow one, Bow Wow literally <laughs> can go back to when he was like yeah. fifteen or less. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I agree on that. So that's where it gets weird. Like who could he battle? You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't really make sense with Bow Wow. Yeah, like, like I don't know who Bauer would really little hear. Romeo. <laughs> no, I'm no. telling you, dog, you, you're sleeping on his hits. Romeo has what two records. Hits? What is the, uh, the puppy love? Puppy love, right? You know that one. Was that him? <laughs> was puppy love? Yeah, bro? I guess. Sure. No, <laughs> nah, I don't remember. Really really I'd like to see it though. No, It'll puppy love was Bow Wow. Little Bow Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know who it would be. I think Omarion, like somebody mentioned, would be Versus like a first, like quick thought, but I don't think it would actually pan out to be. Yeah, I don't even know who. I can't match him up with anybody. But also, like people were saying, they would want to see um, Big Sean and Wale together. I heard that too. Um, that's the thing. Like I personally don't like Wale like that, but I know that his career has been yeah, driven he by does. hits. He does that with um, but I think we're quick to forget Big Sean's early hits, like what oh, no, he can yeah. pull from. You know what I'm saying? It. Yeah, I don't doubt that. So I think I'm taking Big Sean on that in yeah, every sense of it. For sure. Uh, even though we all agree that Big Sean can be inconsistent, that even through those inconsistencies throughout his career, he's had hits. Right. Definitely. So yeah. so he he can combine those, and he'll I think he'll destroy Wally personally. Yeah. yeah, I can see I can see that. But actually the I don't know if you saw, but like the last hour, um, 
uh, Swiss Beast and Timberland were they were doing a FaceTime and they were like excited and they're they're about to announce the next um, potential runner ups. I think they said it's gonna be announced this Monday coming up. So when this podcast airs. And they, they I, said it's gonna be big big people. So like I, I it's know. gonna be like Erica Badu and like somebody um it's gonna be like that. Oh really? I think that's because that's been a rumor for a while now. It's like two female artists. Okay. But let me let me say this too, and this has been thrown around but not taken seriously yet. Mm. I'll take a guy versus girl. Like I want yeah. Missy Elliott to go up against somebody. Like first of all, Missy Elliott alone has her own hits. But she, people don't know that she wrote a lot of records for Aaliyah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, she wrote records for a lot of people, sweetie. So I want to see Missy Elliott go up against, like, a legend, like you know Jermaine who, Dupree who or something. You know would be bad? Um, Missy Elliott and Busta Rhymes. I think that would be a good matchup. They're from the, t- the same right. time time era. They make kind of the same, um, like, moving music like that, too. But but John, can she play those records that she mm-hmm. made for Aaliyah? Yeah, interesting. Because the first, the third verse battle ever was Neo versus John Jonte, and they're both songwriters, so they were both playing. Like Jonte is a songwriter, so he had to play everything that he wrote, and then Neo is a songwriter artist, so he was playing both. Mm-hmm. So yeah, as long as you had something to do with the record, you can play it. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, like Neo played. Mario um, Maybe you should let me love you. Like he wrote that song when he was like 15 Damn. So he was able to play it on his On his playlist on his 20 And of course that's a fucking point automatically Because that's some yeah. that's a lot of people's favorite song Like ever That song um, is too good I still play that song to this day Right so yeah so Missy can play Like I'm sure she wrote Sierra records Like she wrote a lot of shit I, I didn't know whether to bring First of all, this, <laughs> Manny's not here, guys. <laughs> Let's acknowledge that. Uh, he's not feeling the best, so he's, he's taking some time off. Um, hopefully all is well. Yep. And I was trying to, like, see if I should bring this topic up or not because I know Manny would enjoy to talk about this. But, fuck it, we're here, and it's already, like, within the versus realm. So, shout out to the Joe Budden Podcast. They were talking about who would be a potential – like who would Wayne go up against and stuff like that, and like we'll, we'll surpass it. That's that, I'll just say that to like the, as the base of the conversation. Mm-hmm. But then they said, then they said nobody would want it with Drake though. Like nobody would want to see twenty with Drake, like in general. And then somebody said, I think Joe said, I think Kanye would be a good matchup, fam. <laughs> I've said this again, and I'll say it <laughs> one more time. First of all, do you remember when I said? Do you think Wayne would feel disrespected If he went up against Drake mm. I said that like hella episodes yeah, ago Whether it be on the podcast or whatever So You transfer that over to Kanye West That's not even a question That's disrespectful to me mm-hmm. dog. Because like again If you can pull from anything that you've done But fuck but, that you, I don't want What records can go up against All Falls Down, Sierra Leone Diamonds Jesus Walks <laughs> any record from graduation, you can play any literally, record from you graduation. Can, yeah, you can literally put the album. <laughs> you, it doesn't matter what Drake would play; it will not hit the same as a Kanye record. It wouldn't. And let me say this too: Boy Wanda, which is Drake's main producer, did a versus with Hit Boy, which is which used to be Good Music's main producer. And people went in with the stigma of that Boy Wanda was probably going to win because he has Drake records all day. But after the seventh song that Boy Wonder played, which was Drake, 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 I didn't even care how big the the hits were at that point. I didn't even want to hear Drake anymore. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it wasn't even, like, a knock to, like, I just didn't even want to hear more Drake records because it's, like, a producer, so I want to hear your range. So bring that energy to a Kanye world, I think that's highly disrespectful. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I can't see it at all. Name me one Drake song that can be anything Kanye's done. And we're talking about Kanye has three classic albums. Mm-hmm. All he needs is 20 records. <laughs> like, he just needs 20 songs. Yeah, he can literally pull just from his albums. Not even including his features. He could just he could just pull and beat Drake. It, I agree with you. Like, of course I love Drake. And he's one of my favorite artists. But, like, if you, if you 
I can't hear him consistently like that, like like back to back to back or like now just thinking of his hits, I'm sure they will hit when I hear them. But then if you put a Kanye song right after, yeah. it's like it's, uh, no, it's like like yeah, get this shit out of here. <laughs> like I'm but not gonna want to hear shitty. I'm like that though. It's not, it's not like because this. him compared to Kanye is it's not it's it's not. <laughs> That's it's my not. first one. But let's just let's just do this, Jose. Let's let's try to reminisce uh, of Drake. This is gonna be hard because he has too many of them. He does. But his early ones aged weird. Like the motto isn't Facts. gonna hit. Uh, I was just or, thinking that. Fact. Or like, um, what's the? I always forget the title, but his biggest hit, the first one that came out. I know way too many people here yeah, right, right now. Yeah. That over, will not hit over. the same. Yeah, that will hit the same now either. Like he only has certain records. Like Marvin's Room will be fire. Like that changed the game for a lot. Like that sound was new, but all he got, all kind of got to do is play the record from Eight and Heartbreak. <laughs> like mm-hmm. it was just like Coldest Winter or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. But. I'm trying to think of uh, Drake records that have aged well, and there are some like like, but they're, they're recent though. Like so, th- that's not aging. You know what I'm saying? But like, and and please, I'm 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 speaking. We're freestyling, so I, if you have something to combat or an example, I want to hear because I'm trying to see what other Drake records would kind of ring off like that. I personally wouldn't even want to put them in the same. Um, like verses head to head because yeah I, I don't think they're even at the same level in in music in that sense either like they shouldn't go head to head but I wouldn't say like he's like that that his music that he's done is not considered or even is like the music he's done is not classic to to most people and stuff like that I would say I would say, it, I would say Jose that he has some classic records Mm-hmm. But you're just going against Kanye West, dog. Like, yeah, but he's like, not going against Kanye West. <laughs> no, no. Well, if this is a versus, they're well, this is a, this is a hypothetical, a, a, a hypothetical, a hypothetical yeah. verse. Yeah. yeah, it's funny putting a newer artist, even though Drake has been around for a long time, Kanye has been around right. for longer. It's funny putting a newer artist versing him. But that's what I mean him, be, because because Kanye molded about right. most of, most of these new artists. Oh, yeah. So it's like it's like like if 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 um Drake played Marvin's Room, he could play anything on 808. But that's the thing with, 808, with 808 me. probably probably inspired Marvin Zoom or it or, did for sure. With with me, like uh, Kanye has made how many songs? He's made like two songs with Drake, right? A couple. Yeah, a and couple. they're weird. And they're weird. Yeah, they're like, both, yeah. I've always I've always seen that. Like every song that Kanye has made with Drake has never yeah. flowed good. And I'll like give you that. I I always felt like since that their their matchup isn't. Isn't good together, so like they're well. Pop style was pretty good. You remember? Pop well, style? I'm not going there because I still that wasn't when you hear Drake and Kanye, you don't want a record that sounds like that. Mm-hmm. But remember, mm-hmm. Drake apparently wrote uh, "Father Stretch My Hands" in a lot of 30 hours, so it is possible to get records like that. It's just they would have to sit down and really yeah, but I'm, I'm go I'm for a specific most, style. Mostly mean like them together in in a song together. Like I felt like he had him in in his recent album, right? What? Was it Drake that had Kanye in his recent album, or Kanye had? Drake? Hell no, boy! Drake hates Kanye right now. Not, <laughs> not right about? now, but one of one of the albums. More life no. had had Kanye. More life had glow with with. with there was, an, there was another one that yeah, I, I, I remember that it was it was just a weird song too. But that's what I mean. Like that's why I feel like that match. That's the most recent. I never. Think. I think they like meet up and try to go left on purpose, like. What would you, they not? What would they think that we wouldn't do? Mm. But I see you're trying to go away from the conversation. But we're gonna. I'm bring not it trying back to go away. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like certain people don't match I get up you. together. I get like you. I would say, uh, like the I don't know. I was gonna say maybe look, look. Kendrick and Kanye don't even match up either. Yeah, yeah. Like, no. I can't really Kanye. See them. If it's not Jay Z or anybody up above that, I don't even want to hear it. Yeah. But I'm saying like, Hotline Bling. Is probably Drake's biggest record. Uh, Find your love. Uh, Starting uh, from the bottom, but that that song. But all those, none of that can touch yeah, Jesus walks. None of that. Saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's not a Drake yeah, record no. that will even come close to a 20 from Kanye. That, and and you could pick any 20 from like that's another thing, Kanye. You know, I don't even think there's a bad song to pick. No, it should, I, it'll just be interesting to see what he chooses. <laughs> like I agree. That he thinks is I the definitely best. agree on that, but I also feel like that's not a good matchup either way. No, yeah, it wouldn't be a good matchup. But we're just trying to like 
even if the conversation is hypothetical for verses, it's just a good conversation to have about how qual- how music ages and like what people at one point seem to be or deem as classic. You know, the, the, we have to the, the classic is withstanding the test of time, so we have to like really see how it ages over the over years and shit like that. But, but. That's, that's what I mean, like, because like. If you put Drake against, let's say, if you put Drake against Little Wayne, I think it'll be kind of a better matchup, and his songs, the both of them songs, will flow better in that matchup sense than a Kanye versus Drake in that sense of music. I guess the only reason if we're freestyling, we're all, this is all off the top, is because Drake Wayne doesn't really go for hits. So like at at some point, you're it's a good matchup because Drake has hits, but Wayne has songs that. That you just couldn't stop listening to, even though the, the numbers might have not, you know, mm-hmm. been made it deemed as as a hit. Um, so that's why it's a little bit more easier to conceptualize than a Kanye versus Drake. But I just brought it up because Joe Budden podcast, a, a three people that I no, respect, yeah, I, perp- I, like a uh, level of music knowledge, just said it like. Like oh yeah that'd be a good matchup like they didn't, no nobody said no 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 you know what I'm saying like nobody interrupted it or anything I, I was like what the hell just happened that's already disrespectful <laughs> I, I don't think it would like go back to the other conversation about Dre and Kanye like that remember how we like had that conversation like is it disrespectful for Kanye to ask for the stems for Dr Dre mm-hmm. so it's like. Is Dr. Dre in the same stratosphere as Drake? Like, he, he would have to come back. Like, we can't have that conversation and then have this conversation. But I just thought it was interesting to talk about because I just couldn't believe there wasn't pushback from them. Yeah, that's weird. Not even push. Yeah, no pushback. That's that's strange. There has to be pushback. Anytime you mention <laughs> Kanye's name in, with a potential versus, it, it has to be like, hold on. Because Kanye's just on a different level, dog. It's just... Even like even if you don't think that his music is anything crazy now, which obviously he's it's not his best music, but if you just go back to anything else, like like the production lyricism, like it's just it's just unmatched. And you, he yeah. can pull out records from the life of Pablo, yeah, and that he, wasn't even his he best. Can, album. Yeah, he can, and it's not his best lyrical album. And but anything before that, he can just destroy. I feel like yeah. he can destroy pretty much ninety five or ninety nine percent. Jay Z, honestly, Jay Z is the only one that can. And then Kanye produced a lot of Jay Z shit. Exactly. <laughs> so if if Kanye beats Jay Z to his own records, then what are you gonna do? <laughs> Jay Z plays a record, and then he, Kanye plays the same record right after. Who wins? He's like, I made this. <laughs> but yeah, can you like, actually it's... ever see that happening though? What Jay and Kanye? Like some nah. like him actually in something like that? Like Kanye? Kanye? Yeah. People have spoken about it. Five minutes. Would you huh? say so? Kanye would lose his mind after five minutes. <laughs> Why? Because he's just crazy. Especially now. You think that man's going to sit there for more than he five minutes? He'll just take the mic and just like start ranting. <laughs> they got to keep that thing I with think... the electric barbed wire. <laughs> I think that Kanye would be more down to do it. I think Jay-Z would, would give him more. I think it would have to be a specific thing. Yo, Kanye, you're going to do a production battle. <laughs> we got Pharrell for you. Okay. Yo, Kanye, we have a, a rap we got Jay Z for you, okay. But if it's just like a battle and it's like no rules, that'll be hard. But you, but c- you think ahead, like man. he'll do it like in in the recent years or like it'll take time? I would say long. yes because only because of this. Swizz and Kanye are good friends, mm-hmm. and Timbo actually, mm-hmm. and Swizz also is good friends with Kanye's manager, which is Akon's brother or if i'm mistaken i'm sorry but i I thought that 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 was akon's brother (laughs) um so he's really accessible to the people who are in charge of the company you know what i'm saying but it's just kind of like it would literally have to be the finale of versus like it would have to be the last episode (laughs) premiering on apple music and it's like we really couldn't find or like this is what we've been waiting for type shit but yeah for for versus now i see like people who even though rick ross and two chance always still in the game I feel like it's more like it's not I don't know how to put it like maybe not like all the way in there as in popularity though. I don't know. It's no, no, no. You got to no, it's backwards. Wait, what, what was the what what was versus the well, let me say this before cuz maybe it's to it would clear what mm-hmm. Jose was trying to say. Versus battle, you can only get in if you've if yeah, you're a legend. If, if, <laughs> like 
if you're a legend and you've changed the game, right. it's just like because that's how it started off. Like, um, toward the, like I said, like, well, I mean, like mm-hmm. not as active, but but that's within our lifetime. We, you know, what I'm saying like it's music, musically history. Like even before we were oh, listening yeah, to like definitely. Mariah Carey and Mary J. Blige, yeah, like definitely. those people, you know, who wrote for them and the Michael Jacksons of the world or whatever. Um, I'm sure eventually, you know, they're gonna have to start trickling down like they kind of have been with Ross and Two Chains because although they are legends, they're not like at the level of somebody who wrote Michael Jackson records. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm sure, but I don't want it to get to. Uh, I don't even know who to use as an example. Like uh, Little Pump versus. <laughs> I th- I, that I, I wasn't gonna say that because I definitely don't hope that they go that low. <laughs> But even like higher than that, like I don't want to see a, a baby versus a little baby, <laughs> like the obvious, like a. And yeah, they haven't been yeah. in the game too long. Like you see, can only be in the shit if you've been in the game for like ten, yeah, twenty that's what years. I mean, I, I don't think they'll even go that route. I mean, depending on how yeah, many fucking deals they get, like season three, we're fucking battling. Yeah. <laughs> IG yeah, model. I, I, I think this is just a good idea for for quarantine. I think I think since we're like. We're just here, and we don't, and they really don't have much to do either, because we're all quarantined. So once shit gets popping again, they're on tour and they're out making music and and trying to get people. They they're not gonna have as much success getting people because everyone's gonna be back to normal doing all the. I think what would happen? What happened? That's true. I got they got an album coming out or something. They yeah, and, and both Rick Ross and Two Chains like they have an album coming out. Well, like, to piggyback off our statement. Yeah. The issue would be Are artists Eventually gonna want to start to gain Something monetarily like Besides just promoting you know what I'm saying Like cause that happened with I, I'm sorry to I can't remember their Names but oh yeah Babyface and I think it was uh, Michael Cox or I don't know if I, I'm like fucking up the names but Babyface For sure they didn't want to do this for Free he wanted to do it on his Website and stream it on his website Which is cool like it's it's a uh, it's kind of fucked up because it's like dog, everybody else is doing it for free just do it for free yeah. but as an artist you're like yeah but i want to get paid for my contribution or like so accommodated so i feel like eventually I, I i wonder if other artists will be vocal about like like well i'm not just gonna do this shit for free but but then like as you said they could be like well this is promoting you because it's a proven fact that no, yeah, streams definitely. for all of these artists have gone I, skyrocketed I every time that. they do the battles. Yeah, I bet you 100% everybody has been listening to like Rick Ross, Two Chain mm-hmm. songs like, right after that, and like right. the, their name just gets out there. And like DMX, yeah, that too. Numbers went up. Snoop like Dogg. that's interesting because even though it can be for promotion, what if you do, what if you get washed? Like kind of like a Rick Ross and Two Chains, where Two Chains is going to promote an album. But Rick but, Ross just like But shows, his name like, is still out there though Like people well, are still talking thing, about him Chris that it's it's supposed to be a legend yeah. Legend thing so like nobody Should it's, be watched It's just that this was just a bad matchup dog. <laughs> like it really there's no way around it Yeah it's not technically supposed to be like Oh he lost he won and stuff right. like that It's just supposed to be good music good time Head to head like that but It's definitely but, both of their um their, That's like so it's Free promotion cause like their names are getting brought up Like it's just it's it's a good time, but like I could see like an artist maybe complaining about like oh I'm not gonna get paid for this, but it's a bigger picture in that you know. But but yeah, I, if if I'm Swiss, I, I was, I'm an artist too, so I, I'll be okay with this if I if I had to. If Swiss is like fam, look at the metrics. Like literally, stream your streaming records will go up because it's happened to everybody else. Yeah. People will talk about you for at least two weeks. So it's up to you to capitalize on the moment that you're, you know, getting promoted w- between us. So that's why we're not going to pay you <laughs> something up front, like in advance. Mm. So I can definitely see that working. Um, but like when it comes to like a Jay and a Kanye, like that's when it starts to get tricky because, you know, they don't really do nothing. <laughs> that's not like yeah. for like something, you know what I'm saying? Like because mm. their time is money type shit. I could that's why I, that's why I think I think Kanye would like I said would have an easier time trying to do it but I feel like Jay-Z would be like eh that's kind of like but it's kind of like it's, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the same thing with like isn't like the all the award shows they don't get paid for that right and they perform none of them get paid for that 
It's like they perform. And... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I doubt that they get paid, but they just get accommodated in some other ways. Like, like you win. You like you, they give you. Congrats. Come for no, yeah, they'll, no, like, no, like they'll the, be like, the oh, people, you're going to win a category. The people who perform in the in the Grammys, I, I heard they don't get paid for that. The, those well, in the Super Bowl, the artist has to pay to perform there. So in I know that. Yeah, I know that for sure. The Grammys, I'm not sure. But really? I'm sure. Yeah. Pepsi doesn't. Doesn't what's it called? Doesn't pay the. I don't know what outside deals they could do, but with the NFL, you you have to like get that spot. Like they'll ask, they'll probably. It's. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say like I feel like I know like all the behind the scenes shit. I don't, but they don't. I know that they don't pay you to be in it. Well, I believe that because Pepsi is the one that that leads the halftime show. So I'm sure Pepsi finds a performer. And Pepsi pays the NFL for the for the advertisement and okay, all that okay. stuff. So right. so that makes more sense. Okay, right, right. I got you. So while we're still on the topic of <laughs> uh, music, uh, I know not everybody here might agree with, uh, like have watched this, but Cardi B and Meg The Stallion just dropped a record called WAP, Wet Ass Pussy. <laughs> That's what it stands for. If you didn't know. Um, Record came out like a, a day ago. It's literally yesterday, right? Uh, Friday. I don't know. I, don't know. I only saw the music video. Friday or Thursday. <laughs> it came out like uh, yesterday. Yeah. Um, and of course, it's it's already blowing up, and it's 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 like it can't miss. You know what I'm saying? Like no matter. You make what a video you, like that. You're, yeah. you're not gonna miss. <laughs> so let's talk about it a little bit. Like I thought the video was actually really well shot, produced, and I thought the stage designs were pretty fucking crazy. Yeah. They were creative, yeah, they were. And I believe I'm ninety five percent sure that the dude who produced We Gonna Be All Right by Kendrick Lamar produced uh is the director of this music video. Oh the direct interesting. Yeah. So I'm not mad at the video per se, like the actual aesthetics of it, the the the, the scenery, like the hallway with like the, the mm-hmm. Willy Wonka <laughs> like twist on it. Yeah. And then it has um, snakes and like doorways and shit. Right, right. No, yeah, the video was dope. Actually, that, a lot of it was green it. screen, though. I'm like, sure. A yeah, lot of the sure. effects and stuff like that. And, like, most of the models in there, they showed some behind the scenes, and I saw that. They got Kylie. That's yeah. crazy. You think- Which, is, people are not happy, yeah, dog. Not happy. And it's mainly like, because of the situation that happened a couple weeks ago. Uh, That's the why. internet is, like, against no, yeah, Kylie beating it. No, why? Yeah, it's, it's because of the situation, obviously, that happened. Like a couple weeks ago, yeah, but it wasn't Kylie's fault. <laughs> or, no, that's, that's, no, that's not the, whack, that, not, that's not the <laughs> thing. The thing what happened with Mega Sally and Tory Lanez, Tory Lanez. Mega Sally Lanez. and Tory Lanez, um, that situation where the shooting happened with, with Mega Sally. So, like, the reason why people are not fucking with Kylie is because literally right when Mega Sally she put her like her statement, "Oh, I'm in the hospital. I got shot up in my leg, mm-hmm. or whatever." And that same moment, Kylie puts a picture up on Instagram. Um, saying like Oh this is the best day ever Look at me at the beach And so people were just Bashing her And like Yo Your your friend that we just, you were with Last night Is in the hospital mm-hmm. And like Wait but what got posted first? Uh, Make the sound And she posted that And But either way This is the next day After whatever happened When Kylie put that up um, She actually deleted the, the picture Cause she was getting So much hate on that Backlash, picture yeah. And stuff like that So it, Just because that situation Cause And they were just Trying to cancel her Cause like there's like A whole thing like There's like a uh, Kardashian curse And whatever Like whoever you hang out With Kardashian You get nah, in trouble that's why I, Yeah but people, so People are reaching People are people, reaching Cause it's Okay first of all thing. The it's... music industry Is literally the fakest Place to be Like oh, yeah. anything In the music And film industry Just cause you were Seen together Doesn't mean you have A relationship And they're friends Of course yeah. And it could have been A dead ass setup By their well, manager They yeah, could have been like music video that right and we're not we're not talking about the the situation oh, yeah. that Tory Lanez mm-hmm. we're talking about just like hey Kylie yeah. like can we yeah try to do like a pool party like that's a possibility that they met up just for like that you know what I'm saying yeah. so I don't see why people would whatever now I was with three girls uh, watching the video and they didn't even men- they didn't even care or they didn't even they weren't upset that Kylie was in it because of the situation. They were just like they feel like other women could have other women could have been yeah, represented. Also, people said that too. With that. Which I do get. However, 
from a business standpoint. Yeah, yeah, Kylie yeah. Jenner, the billionaire yeah. Kardashian, like that's a, oh, yeah. a perfect gold move. Yeah, <laughs> like no, that. I, I get that too because that's just gonna bring your numbers up. You know, that's that's the right. best deal there. And then Rosalia was in the video, and I love that. And a lot yeah. of people were confused they had, like, too. Four other models there too. And well, I think it was uh, Mulatto, uh, Rosalia. I think Ruby Rose, Kylie. And Bruh, two Complex, of them. Complex is fucked up. They name yeah. everyone, every model in that in that uh, video except for Rosalia. For like, real? show some goddamn respect. <laughs> no, nope. well, yeah, that's another girl that in my room was like, oh, it's cool that she was there, but I don't know why she would be there. But it's like, guys, it's a music video. There's only a certain amount of people that can be here. Like, we can't put every <laughs> every girl in the industry oh, yeah. in this house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. I think they were just trying to be versatile in like the the couple of cameos they could have chosen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I'm not some, mad at they, it. They got extremely important people. First of all, you have the opportunity to get Kylie Jenner. You're gonna get Kylie Jenner because that's just a money move. That's just spiking up views because her fans are gonna come and watch right. your 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 video. Even if you're not a Megan Thee Stallion fan or Cardi B, mm-hmm. that's one. Two, Rosalia is not just some random girl. Anymore, she I didn't even killing, know she was in the video. She is honestly. killing it in the. Like, Did you see? Reggaeton I, and, uh, Olga, my cousin, actually, she was the one that mentioned her, and like oh, she was the one that read. I had yeah. to double take. I was like, damn, because it's, it's quick. It was like a second. I didn't really notice it was her. That wasn't that fast. They kept going back there. <laughs> I don't know. I only saw the video once. I didn't see. That's her. dope, though. Shout out Cardi and, and Megan for putting. Her oh yeah, I love that because it's it's a representation of another side of the genre of music. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it, that's just like I guess like the whole drama behind the video. But like I said, like I'm not mad at the music video itself. As far as their dancing, I thought it was actually pretty good because I'd never really seen Cardi or Megan Thee Stallion in a choreography standpoint, and they didn't look aki. They looked like they were actually doing pretty like whoever choreographed it perfectly choreographed it for them. I think for Cardi, this was a uh, a smart move. So a little bit of backstory. Cardi and Atlantic have been working on a deal on like a renegotiation and supposedly Cardi asked from like for like uh, a contract that's like might as, yeah like you might as well be Kanye or Jay-Z or like to get the shit mm-hmm. and and the rumor is that that's why she hasn't been dropping music because she's been waiting for them to finalize it so you can put two and two together now that the music video came out I'm assuming that the negotiation <laughs> went through. So Cardi yeah. definitely just made a big ass bag. And she there's so many fucking topics. And she has she did an exclusive deal with OnlyFans. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Where can I find this deal? <laughs> yeah, Cardi B. Saw, yeah. But you know Cardi B OnlyFans. <laughs> well, but she's not using it for sexual content. Mm-hmm. She's using it for right. what OnlyFans started to be, which is uh behind the scenes. Um and this is actually going to be to her benefit because she said that she's going to use OnlyFans mainly to address rumors surrounding her life. Like, so anytime that there's like a, a backstory or whatever rumor, she's not going to yeah, just go on IG gonna, live like she normally they, does. That's so smart. Oh my God. Even though, even though annoying because I know. Uh, all the rumors and bullshit, but people are just so snoopy and, and just want to exactly. hear that shit that. They're gonna. Oh my gosh, she's about to catch up. Yeah, because Cardi B's whole thing is her personality. So yeah. if you're gonna go somewhere, you're gonna go specifically to a, a place to get all that. That's yeah. fucking. Genius. This gonna, is what happens. And people you are gonna. Dominica, <laughs> you give Dominicans a platform. You got. You got <laughs> fucked up. This is what you're gonna get. And people are gonna <laughs> subscribe. Gonna like mostly men are gonna subscribe just to see if she's ever gonna post anything <laughs> like that. You know. Right. Right. So she's. So yeah. So. Gonna go off from that. Right, so she got an OnlyFans deal. She got a record out with Megan Thee Stallion, who's been killing it herself. Like she's been doing really good. Um, and as far as the record, I'm not mad at the record, dog. I'm not. I don't think it's a trash record. I don't think it's the greatest record. I think it's an on brand record for a Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B record. Yeah, <laughs> like it makes sense for them. Yeah, for sure. You know, there's no like it's a trash record. It's like, and actually, they both did they thing on it. Um, on the song, I'm not mad at it at all. Good for them. It, it's a Cardi song, right? It's not. It's yeah, Cardi yeah. song. It's not Megan The Stallion. Yeah. It's so smart. Like, like they're both two females that are absolutely killing it right now. And the well, obviously, I'm I'm not like a huge fan of them, but I I see when well, someone yeah. is, is killing it in the game, and they're both. I don't know, Chris. Like, you oh, sent that link right when it when that well when that video was up. <laughs> that shit was dog. You go on any social media platform. And that and that was the first thing you were saying. 
I actually saw a video before Chris said really? <laughs> so oh, you see? Yeah. <laughs> well, I was already on YouTube. Uh, uh but no, yeah, well what people are forgetting is that Cardi B's been on the state like a hiatus for a while. Yeah. Like she hasn't yeah. dropped music in a long time. Mm. But again, it's cause she was trying to finalize a deal. So people were kind of like saying, like, yo, like what's her music potentially gonna sound like? Did it grow? Did it stay the same? Is it gonna be bad? Is it gonna be good? And this is kind of like the own brand, like still same sound, but still like It'll it'll do what it's supposed to do. That's probably the best way to like. Critique. They know their audience. They know <laughs> yeah. their audience, and it was perfect for them. No, yeah, That's a sexual ass song. Yeah, I'm surprised the, crazy. the video made it on YouTube. <laughs> that shit is well, I, I I heard that like even the explicit version on YouTube yeah, where they say I, fuck I and shit, they, took it. they still censored they other that, yeah. words. They didn't, even yeah, they didn't even say it. They didn't even say the... the yeah, they didn't words. say it. That, that's why That's why I was caught by surprise when you said it because I didn't know that that was a... That's what it stood for. I mean, I could... I could guess that's what it stood <laughs> right. for, but in the actual music yeah, video... Yeah, in the, in the song, in the music, they don't they're say like, it. They're like wet, gushy or something. Yeah, yeah. wet-ass gushy. That's what they say because that's mm-hmm. the it's technically clean version. But I think they went that route to get that more views because if you would have put that part... Jose, they left the fucking the shit in it. <laughs> oh, they did? Yeah, no, I, they, yeah, they I don't remember they that. bleeped out words like gag, <laughs> like well, like I think, in context. I think or, more, mostly that because it might be too explicit. They then they would have had to censor the video to a fact that you could only be eighteen to right. view, it, and you would have okay, got okay. less views for that. Because when right, when right. a video is eighteen plus, you have to officially like sign in YouTube, and so yeah, that's yeah. less audience. That's true. That's probably why they mostly did that. I can see that. But J Cole is thinking about joining the NBA. Oh. Have you heard about that? I have heard about this, and that's interesting but, because um, I, 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 yeah, <laughs> I know it's not gonna happen. It's like it's, it's a rollout. It's an important, <laughs> it's an impossible thing. His album's coming out and so right. like that. But people are talking about it, like, and and it looks like it's an interesting thing to talk about. Like, he, we know, like, he could ball. He's he's a yeah. good basketball player. He has the height. He has the skills. So like that. Me personally, I don't think he's that level NBA. Like. If if he was that serious, maybe join like a D League or A League or whatever basketball they have. Right. But I don't know if he's like an official gonna be there. But like some teams yeah. were like talking about him, like potentially. Well, I think it was the Pistons who let him like work out really? with them, <laughs> and that's why everybody was going crazy. Oh yeah. <laughs> but it's like teams let fans play all the time, <laughs> like like uh, as a workout and shit like that. Um, but yeah, it, it would be interesting if it were to happen because that'll be the first time in history anything like yeah. that would happen. J. Cole wouldn't. It's. It, I think this is part of the rollout. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think this is just to keep his name. This is a good way for a rollout. I, I don't mind this at all. Better than drama, you know, or gossip. You know what I'm saying? Like, to yeah. Have your and name. when does J. Cole ever have drama? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So he has to find creative <laughs> ways to stay relevant within, you know, just topics. Yeah. Of, it's, um, it's weird, dog, because it. It'll be, it'll be like more obvious if it was like an artist that isn't like J Cole because when does he ever do like a really big rollout or like, or like he? I don't think he, he does. does. Like he, he does. Like Dreamville really- was the biggest one. Um, the Revenge tape. Right of the Dreamers. Revenge because. I actually like this rollout too. He was sending out invitations to oh, right. everybody, to a producers, artists, to come join the session. So that was a big rollout, but again, not a a bad rollout. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, but before that, yeah. Every I time really I see J Cole, it's like he just drops. Like he he doesn't like really. It's like a week or two, and yeah. he lets you know that he's dropping, and then he just drops it. But like this is a big this is a big rollout. This isn't something that like that like just promotion for your album like. And it's weird because he does ball like, and, and we can obviously see that he plays basketball. And through the summer, he plays with NBA players, like in the gym and shit like that. So like, and they've and they've said that he can ball. I don't know if they're just being nice and just like want to be cool with J Cole, but <laughs> but there are teams like like the Pistons who who if si- if they sign him, like that's like a bunch it's of like a day contract, all. like <laughs> yeah, like a ten day contract. They can, they can do that. I, I don't think I don't, I don't think he's good enough to be. Yeah, they can't do that. I don't think he's good enough to be in the league. But for promotional reasons, for a team that is struggling, or or like just for fans and jersey uh, and jersey be funny sales. To see. <laughs> but Baseball I feel like has... I feel like, like he would hold himself up, or like as a bench player, like last option, like he can go and shoot a few threes. Like I don't think that's anything too crazy. J Cole has the probably the most important thing you need 
to make it to the NBA. I... The fame. <laughs> I was telling Jose, that's it. Just by by the fame he has alone, that's enough to get him into the D League and get people looking at him if he really wanted to. Yep. Which is, is stupid. It shouldn't be that way, but But who's why why do you say that? Because wouldn't that have to uh mean that somebody's cut done it before? No, but just in terms of people get, start I mean, you could see it. I mean, people like we don't follow it that much, especially me, because I hate anything lower than NBA level ball. But people they start on AAU teams and from there is just the hype the hype builds around you and social media builds around you and that's how most players are getting into the league now just yeah. based off the videos that get put out by yeah. by social just media like, like the what, the baller brand people well, well, they've been I mean, well I know Honestly, they've been playing but I'm saying like basically. They, they had their their like fame in the beginning before they got into like the NBA the, the team signed them and stuff like yeah, that yeah they, they were they were advertised well. yeah yeah, they, this shit helps they have their, they a have, lot. Definitely. And I don't think J. Cole will make it to the league. I was telling Jose because we talked about it before. But I think what he would do, he'd get like a one-day contract, which I think would be cool. Mm-hmm. A one-day contract to play for the, the Hornets, hometown yeah. Charlotte. I think that would be cool. He could play for like maybe even a whole fourth quarter in, on some game. Maybe like a game on his birthday or some, some shit. Bro, I can see something imagine, like that happening. Can you imagine this sounds like a 10-day contract? What that would do for... The Hornets jersey sales, <laughs> everyone would want a fucking cold. Even a cold yeah, Hornets I'll buy that shit. Yeah, I would, for sure. And like that, that would be now, a crazy come up for them. Imagine he gets that opportunity. And he, he performs. He shows out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, <laughs> bro. It, he can. I'm telling you, he can be a last option bench player. Come in and shoot a couple threes and make them. But do you think he's cool? He's pretty. He's he's up there. He's like 33 or 34. It's pretty old. But do you think? Or, what are we? What are we really basing this off of? Because I know other artists who play better than J Cole, and they will never be th- thought, thought to of, even so. be mentioned. Well, have they ever tried? No. And I, I know you're thinking. I know you're thinking of Chris Brown because Chris Brown can fucking ball. And, and Quavo, then, Quavo can no, ball. Quavo ball. ugly. Quavo <laughs> too small to play ball. He's ugly, but he can ball. <laughs> he's, too, he's too small though. He's too small to play with these people. I feel you on that. I mean, but you have all exceptions all the time, but. You know, if there was one team that needed the publicity. <laughs> well, who? <laughs> the Knicks? Oh, we're, yeah. nah, they, we're def- def- they definitely need J. Cole for like 10 years. We don't need the pu- <laughs> we don't need the publicity because we have plenty of publicity. Is it good publicity? You imagine That's your, you need the Knicks become publicity. like the the celebrity game. Like, <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> the I just get all the celebrities. City. <laughs> all the celebrities <laughs> that can play. <laughs> if I can have a J Cole Knicks jersey, I'll take it. Oh, that's a success. That's game. an interesting idea, John. You just thought of something. If a whole team <laughs> hired all celebrities to play. That's terrible. Season? <laughs> that was that would be funny. No, mean? because remember, like he said, Knicks don't lack like ticket sales or like uh, you know, so they're always gonna have people there. Yeah, those, but, those fans are those are the true fans. <laughs> right. Those are the true but fans. But it, it is funny to like all just all the players that can really ball that are just happen to be famous for other reasons. <laughs> yeah. That'll be hilarious. I, I assume that you were talking about celebrities that can ball. I'm, I'm assuming you were talking about Chris Brown, correct? Or like or Quavo, like like you said, because um, I, I was saying because somebody said something about I said was saying something, I just can't remember what he was saying. Where would J Cole get the opportunity just because he spoke out about it? Because mm-hmm. I was like, oh, what are the chances of anybody just a celebrity just being willing to get a a, a ten day contract for like a, a NBA game when there's other people that can really that I think about better than him. But then uh, she was like, "Well, has anybody spoken out loud about it?" And I was like, "Yeah, I don't, maybe I guess that's why because I don't think so." Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think that there are better celebrities. Like I've seen Chris Brown ball, and that guy is a beast. Well, I've seen J Cole ball too, and, and he and he's and he's pretty. They're both different yeah. players. Chris mm-hmm. Brown is, is much faster than J Cole is, but J Cole got a got a nice three point shot that I've seen. Um, I like I said, a team that that really doesn't have any chance or like or like is struggling with 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 like sales and stuff like that just <laughs> give, give them a day. shot <laughs> is it legal of course it's legal. like what's yeah. the requirement to Nothing. become an nba player shoot the ball in the basket <laughs> For and real? be a citizen <laughs> yeah, yeah don't you think... don't have to go through any like uh no I don't know. certification um nothing like that i don't think so so people have literally been signed for like a day and stuff for teams 10 days for ten sure. days yeah, i know 10 day contracts but i don't know about mm-hmm. one day but 
It's J. Cole. Like I people, said, the fame, the fame is the most important thing. Jose, people do get signed to one-day contracts, but that's usually if the guy's like retiring. Oh, and wants Paul Pierce got want, signed to a one-day contract. Amari Amar, Amar Stoudemire signed with the Knicks for, to retire as a Nick. So J. Cole can really become a best uh, NBA player if they just signed him. Yeah. Like, no no problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. And so, I, I think... Sh- Charlotte, if you're listening, yeah, if you're, <laughs> give that man one day. Oh, my those God. Those, jer- those jerseys, dog. Ooh. Yeah, that, game, that game would be sold out. The, all the hype beasts. All the hype beasts, <laughs> the fans, <laughs> people. And he from. does a halftime show? <laughs> and he releases his album? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and the team retires as a whole. Because <laughs> <laughs> these are the Hornets, right? right? Yeah. yeah. The Hornets ain't doing shit. <laughs> are they still owned by Jordan? I believe so. Uh, he needs to refund that, <laughs> that whole thing. That boy does not know what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he cares to be <laughs> I mean, he got the problem. He's a billionaire. <laughs> he don't need that. All right, to stay on this same NBA basketball lane, today they announced the oh, finalists yeah, for 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 all the the awards, the annual awards that they give out. So I'll run through the list real quick, starting from the bottom up if you guys want to. Mm-hmm. Here for Coach of the Year, we got Mike Budenholzer from the Bucks, Billy Donovan from the Thunder, and Nick Nurse from the Raptors. Chris, open your eyes. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta remember. Pause. Yeah. You guys want to kind of visualize? Quick, quick <laughs> pick for each one before I move on to the next because I don't think we're gonna go. Well, back. do the uh, ones that we like. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not picking a coach. Coach of the, of the Bucks. Have, coach of the Bucks. Mike Budenholzer. The Bucks. Really? Uh, Mike Budenholzer. What? <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely not putting this in now. <laughs> my food. <laughs> Who is that? All right, we're skipping that one. <laughs> we're skipping it. Let's, yeah, let's get into the mainstream that. awards. All right. Let's get into the we'll, Grammys. <laughs> we'll, we'll go into the the most improved player because I have to do it. Okay. Right. We got my pick, my dog, Bam Adebayo. Bam. We got Brandon Ingram. And to what? my surprise, to everybody's surprise, Luka Doncic. Surprise? What? I don't know how. And most improved player? I don't know how. What the fuck is going on? I Why do you say that, Chris? Because Luka Doncic is, it, is <laughs> has, stayed, has stayed the same level of great in okay, both okay. years. But, <laughs> oh, so, so he's two years? Because I didn't know that. Yeah, it's his second yeah, this year. Is second year. And last year, I think he was like in the MVP voting. So yeah. for him to be in a most improved and not <laughs> in an MVP for your second year, I don't understand how. Yeah, right, right. that makes how no sense. Not, yeah, I, I don't get it. Well, if your picks is – if your contestants was somebody who was an MVP last year and Brandon Ingram, you can definitely tell that they were struggling. Well, yeah, I, I don't Brandon like Ingram, Brandon Ingram. A lot of people have been giving Brandon Ingram a lot of praise this year. I, I mean, he has been – he's improved in every yeah, category sure. that he can. Personally, I think it's just because of the minutes and because of the role he has on the team, not so much because he, he really got better. That's just my take on it. Because he went from the Lakers over to New Orleans. But then his numbers were up. And then once Zion came back, his numbers dipped a little bit. So it kind of shows you, like, but, for as much as they. Okay, but we're talking about his numbers went up for obvious reasons. He's, like, the most experienced player for the most part in that team. For, like, like for as far like, as, like, the starting five. and Yeah, well, him yeah. and Drew Holiday, but, yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. And I don't see – because it's also – you improved, but are you really helping your team win? Because they're still not even in the playoffs currently. They're like 10th seed right. or something. And I think they've lost every game in the bubble. So, I mean, it was, the votes came before the bubble. So, you can't really mm. hold that against them. But right. I don't know. I'm taking my BAM four seed fighting oh, yeah, for possibly sure. two seed and being the heart and soul of the Heat team. That's I'm just down for, for me. that. I don't, and, know en- I don't know enough. I know Brandon Ingram was balling out. And I know – and you made a good point where it just could be more minutes. I don't know enough about Bam, but I know people speak very highly of him, and I and I have seen him play, and he was impressive. So I'll I'll just and the Heat been winning more than <laughs> the, yeah. So the I don't I know if they take that guys. into account for the the most improved player, but I think they should. All right, so we'll move on to the most NBA. improved player should be Luka Doncic. <laughs> if he's in, it, it's Luka. <laughs> That went from a 9.6 to a 9.7. Did you really improve? <laughs> uh, what? Technically. Uh, and next we got the the six man of the year award. Oh. I'm gonna start with Dennis Schroeder <laughs> from OKC. My personal pick. You got Montrezl Harrell from the Clippers. What's good with these names? Bro? And Lou Williams. I, I feel like we're in an episode of Keeping. 
the, the football when they're, when they're announcing the names. Yeah. <laughs> it's Single McCringleberry. Stumptavian Robo Click. Two ghosts. Because <laughs> it was the second person you said, Big Drizzle. What did you say? Montrez. Dennis Schroeder and Montrezl. <laughs> Montrezl. <laughs> I've never heard of these dudes. He's good. Uh, I have to see that. Yeah, he, he is nice. Mont- no, you've seen him. He's, Mont- yeah. You would probably know him as Whoopi Goldberg on the Clippers. He's nasty. He's he's strong as hell. Big big center, big center. Long if, if you, go look him up real quick while we do this. You'll know exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. Wait, you saw on the Clippers? Is he, is he the yeah. rookie? No. no. He's no, like tripping, almost the right. center. He has like red hair, like red tips on his hair. He wears okay, like, okay. Like, like dreads. Too. And then Lemon Pepper Lou. This is for six men. They're going to give it to Lou again. <laughs> Here's my unpopular opinion. I don't think Lou Williams should even be considered for this award. Why? Because he plays as many minutes as a starter, and they use him as a starter, but they just bring him off the bench. They'll put in, like, booty cheeks players in the beginning, like Shamit, and then they'll bring off Lou Williams to play most of the game. Ooh. So it's like, okay, are you – so off what, of are you, what are you really doing? Yeah, yeah. which is, I think – and they've given it to him enough. Yeah, <laughs> and true. Dennis Schroeder has been balling out. Ooh. It's true. They, they've given it to Lou. They give it to Lua like every single year. He doesn't even need to go to the awards or show. They should just mail it to him. Honestly, it's hard because I mean they the Clippers found a technicality where, like we said, like that's, that's why I think he shouldn't he's even technically a six man. But like I, I do understand what you're saying. He he plays as much as a starter, pretty much. Yeah, and he's just as important of a role. It's not like he's like coming off the bench to play with the they, second squad like a Drogic or something. But they tip it off. The Clippers get the ball. Timeout. <laughs> Timeout. <laughs> Lou, <laughs> six man. Yeah. I think Twinkle McCringleberry. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, he's a good one, too. He might take it. Twinkle McCringleberry. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, what else you got? What else? All right, I'm going to go I'll go into uh, I'll, I'll go into the defensive player of the year, just to keep it in the order that they have it here. All right, so for defensive player of the year, we got Giannis Antetokounmpo, Anthony Davis, and Rudy Gobert. <laughs> now Chris knows where to go, man. <laughs> that boy locked down the whole league. Well, this is easy. Nobody's oh. scoring on him. <laughs> yeah, for sure. This is um, easy for me. I got uh, Mitchell Robinson. Okay. Yeah, same. Okay. Jose, Ooh. who's that? That's just a mixed player. Uh, yeah, he should. <laughs> if the team was better. I mean, it's obviously between Jonas and Davis. Yeah. Um, AD. AD got my pick. Think so? Yeah. But is he as consistent as you think? He, like he yeah, could he's be? as he consistent, and he can fuck. His offense is unreal. So, I'll but give it's him defensive. A, I know, but I'm I'm accounting for both. The <laughs> reason I go with AD is because I think the players around him aren't as good defensively. I mean, aside from LeBron, who's been doing way better this year defensively than he's usually been doing, but everybody else has been. They started off hot, and then they kind of. Mm-hmm. Slow down a little bit on the defense, as opposed to Giannis, whose team has the best defense in the whole league. Mm-hmm. So I feel yeah, like yeah. that helps you your stats out when everybody around you can also defend really well. That's true. So just for that, I'd give it to AD. Problem with that, yeah, that is, I think that'll affect the MVP, but we'll get there. Right, yes, it will. <laughs> for, <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> for Chris, we're going to go with the rookie of the year. This is some bullshit. I already saw this. <laughs> I didn't want to hear it, dog. That is... uh, John Morant, Kendrick Nunn, and Zion Williamson. Okay. Which, which is the first one? Uh, John Morant. Ja. Which is the is is an easy pick for, for this sure. one. Yeah. Who ja. is it? What team is he in? Uh, uh, Memphis Grizzlies. Grizzlies. You probably see his number, number 12. twelve. Like a skinny dude, like little. Dreads. A little scary dude, but can fucking ball and jump out the building, dog. Yeah, that yeah, guy yeah. Is, he's nasty. He's he runs nasty. that team and had yeah. him in an A seed. None was he was lit for a couple games, but I don't think he's as consistent. Yeah, none none has been good, but John Moran is just the whole year he's been carrying that team. And maybe yeah. if the Heat didn't have such a like a solid roster around him, right. maybe he would get more credit. Yeah. But what's interesting about this is Zion being on this list, only playing the Two number months, of games that he did. Like, like a month and a like, half. 20 games, I think. 21 games. Yeah, no, that's that's. Which I think is very interesting for. Oh, for you someone. know the deal. <laughs> no, I yeah. mean I know. He and played. they put him on the cover. Yeah, he. There's no way he <laughs> wasn't. By default, they're dragging his default. name so much. 
Well, lately he's been playing like he should be dragged. Uh, I'll say this though, Jim and Weight Watchers. I'll say this. Even <laughs> when we were in the regular like regular season, continuing to play, if Zion started from the beginning of the season playing how he played when he came back, <clears throat> he would win. Still, yeah, I think so because the games that he played when he came back, his his averages and and his points and crazy for tw- for the games that he came back and played. Mm-hmm. But John Morant yeah, this whole season w- consistent and killed it. So he if Zion yeah. could have kept it up, which we, yeah. we will never know, but. The games that he did play, he, he balled out a little bit. Yeah, so John Morant, for sure. And now, the big the, the big MVP. one. The MVP. We got Giannis Antetokounmpo, mm-hmm. LeBron James, Antetokounmpo, and James Harden. <laughs> really? James Harden is up there? Every year? <laughs> for the most part. This is tough, dog, because, like, I'm not, not mad bad. of all three. Um... I think because well, okay, Harden he just plays the numbers that he puts up on a nightly basis is just fucking crazy. But the storyline that comes with behind LeBron's legacy, what is the seventeenth year uh, going into the uh, playoffs again? Hmm. Uh, what he's been with this team for a year and a half? Yeah, well, like two seasons. Two seasons. Two seasons. Yeah, he was yeah. injured half of the year. Yeah, 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 that's true. So I get that. And then Giannis, though, he's been putting in work on the other side, too. Though. Guy's a monster, dude. A monster. And he's and consistent. W- and c- consistent. And when I think of most va- most valuable player to their team, I don't think... <sighs> yeah, we're, gonna, we're about to have a debate here. Yeah, you say what you're about to say. Giannis, Giannis is more valuable, valuable to, his to the team. Bucks than LeBron is to the Lakers. Uh, I highly agree. Yes. Agree. I don't think so. You take out AD, how how much better? Look at those Pelicans. Get? Look at those Pelicans teams. And the Pelicans had better players around Anthony Davis than the Lakers currently do. They have good paper, the good players on paper. Yeah, but you're adding LeBron James. That's right, and that's a why they're the a one second seed. runner up MVP. <laughs> no, hold on. I was like AD. <laughs> if take your hate and out LeBron. of LeBron. Out. No, 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 no. No, I, I don't the, think he. This is this Anderson. is where. This is where my spite for LeBron ends, because I hate LeBron for other reasons, but I I have never said that he cannot ball and that mm-hmm. he is not one of the best players in the NBA. That 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 ends there. But what I when I think of a most valuable player, I believe that Giannis is more valuable to his team, who also has the best record in the NBA, and is up for MVP. I think he's more valuable to the Bucks than LeBron is to the Lakers, and I that's just my pick. I'm, I'm, I, listen, LeBron at at year seventeen, it's unreal that he can still do this and at his age. But I'm telling you, if we're going off what the the trophy actually means, LeBron is less valuable to Lakers than than Giannis is to the to the Bucks. Yeah, I mean, you, you the, take the Giannis thing- out the Bucks, you take Giannis out the Bucks. They're not they're not having the best record. They're not they're not doing everything that they. If you, you think if they take if you take LeBron off the Lakers, they're anywhere in the top five. You think that AD had a more solid team with the Pelicans than he, than he would have with the Lakers if they took off? Yeah. Easy. I got to look, look at these rosters. For Wait, when, when LeBron, LeBron didn't have AD when he was injured, right? No. no. That's the first thing. Oh, so and, and they were So awful. you can't even use That's what I was going to say. You can't even use that. I, would, I mean, I don't disagree with neither <laughs> of you guys, but if, if, if we're doing business reasons and we're doing beautiful storyline, I'm giving it to LeBron and knowing that Giannis will definitely be in this conversation next year or the year after, so he has more chances to also get the award. My my thing with this is, although LeBron, I think, is more valuable to his team, even though the numbers don't show it, just he's he's like the core of that team. He makes he kind of makes a run. He's the one that puts Anthony Davis in positions to to get the monster numbers that he has and everybody else mm-hmm. to put up numbers. But the problem with this is, if you give the Defensive Player of the Year to AD, Giannis by default has to win. Win MVP. Ooh. He can't not win either one of them. Yeah, they're not right. gonna give it to Lakers. Yeah, it, it just won't happen. So for if politics LeBron, reasons, yeah, they'll give it to to enter to Kumpo for defensive player of the year. That's I think team. I think Giannis deserves it. That's I think he deserves one of them. I'm not mad at I don't know. I think he'll get one of them for sure. I wouldn't be upset if LeBron won. A lot, a lot of I people were saying that that he might win both. Uh, Giannis might win both defensive and. MVP. That's interesting. 
But... I wouldn't be I wouldn't be mad if LeBron won. LeBron is very deserving, but I also believe that Giannis is just more important to his team, more valuable. That's the thing, though. It's like it's like when you fight a a UFC champion, it's like you can't leave it up to the judges. Like you can't. You have to beat the champion. You have to knock him down for, in order for you to win. So it's, I kind of see that with LeBron. Like not only is LeBron have really truly having a great fucking year, uh, year, he's also the face of the league for the most part. So polit- even for politics reasons, yeah, they're probably true. giving it to him. <clears throat> but Giannis won last year. So if if we're talking champions wise, he is the reigning champion for MVP. But he's and not face of the league though. He's not face of the league. But if if you're talking about if LeBron did enough. To knock him out of that spot, I don't think he did. No, I, I was talking about LeBron being the champion just as the overall face of the company, not as in because of last year. Because I'm sure LeBron wasn't in the conversation last <laughs> no, he year, wasn't. was he? He wasn't. Yeah, so he, he was hurt, and that Lakers team was awful last year. No, no. And now they're all on the Pelicans. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to Giannis, but if LeBron wins, I wouldn't be upset. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not gonna be upset at either. Yeah. Because it, it's this is probably the closest in a bunch of these categories that that these races have ever been. And when do they do really these awards? Know. After it's supposed to be at the, no, it's I think they announce them before the playoffs. I think. Already, oh, like they they give. Yeah, them I don't out think they do it during. Already? Yeah. Okay. Dog, I hate. I'm that. Not sure how to go down with the season because you know everything that went down, but yeah, I'm throwing an unpopular opinion into this. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the NBA awards, dog. <laughs> that shit is so uh, well, trash. It's so boring. I like the awards, but the show is terrible. Yeah, the, it's so bad. Like the the people that they get to commentate or like or like do the whatever. It's just so they're so awkward. I, it's like I don't even remember ever watching the award show until like I think they just started yeah. doing that recently. I don't I remember there being an award. I remember the ESPN <laughs> awards and stuff like that. I can't remember. Why can't they do it like the MLB where like it's just like a FaceTime over NBA? Uh, uh, network, whatever, NBA TV, or I, mean, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm sure it's gonna be like that now. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, yeah, now, now, now it will be like it's that, definitely so. gonna be. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many awards they've done, but I think the last time I tuned in, <clears> remember <throat> Travis did some song. I told myself I'd never watch it again. Oh, okay. I think I was like, oh, yeah, that performance is awful. That was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It just, it just sounds so awkward, and they have like <laughs> everyone muted, and like, just doesn't look like a good time. <laughs> look, man, I don't know, but. Trigle McQuiggleberry <laughs> for That's sure NBA every year. Montrezl Harrell, <laughs> Harrell. I don't even know what I'm. I say it different every time. Trigle McQuiggleberry. I don't even know what that is. Hang on, McQuiggleberry. But I mean, what what are the what is this again? This year? When yeah, they haven't announced when, but they just they just announced a finalist. Okay. I don't know when it's actually going to come out though. I think before the does playoffs. that happen? Okay, before so, yeah, the playoffs. You say before the playoffs, which is like a week. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I guess we'll see. Yeah. I was also gonna say, like, do you when do you see LeBron actually retiring? When Bronny, when he plays again with Bronny. <laughs> yeah, as soon as his son gets into the league, this is my last year, guys. Yeah, yeah. I think so for sure. Probably. Which will, which realistically could be what three years, two years, four. No, nah, I think isn't Bronny three, three, a three or four? Bronny's gonna be a sophomore now, I think. Or still, I feel like last year counted as one. Though. I don't. I three, four years. Got, I think he just got into ninth grade. Damn. I think he was in eighth last year. So yeah, that's a quick five years. Damn. I yeah. think. I could be wrong. Because I can see LeBron playing another two strong years and then staying one more one-year contract with somebody just mm-hmm. to play with his son. I remember. That would be crazy. I remember. It, and it you could th- definitely happen. Like he's, he was playing with Wade. He's going son. to the NBA for sure, you think? His son? Oh, yeah. He'll play with Zari. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> you're, you're yeah, what about, <laughs> <laughs> about Jay Cole? about Jay Cole. Jose, Bronny Jr. could not have thrown a basketball into a hoop his whole life and asked LeBron if he could get him in the NBA. I'm like, yeah, go pick hey, whatever LeBron jersey you want. You get it. Yeah. Your dad is top so, two so saying, ever uh, in the league. Do you think that, that works the same with like D Way's kids? Well, uh, Zaire similar. is nasty. But yeah, yeah he's Zaire, definitely yeah. getting in. Similar. And like they all the same way. They, they, don't, have, they, they don't have to <laughs> got in with probably less talents. And like they, they, they don't have to do the year college thing right now. They don't have to do that. They got rid of that. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Did they really? hmm So what's the requirement now? You just have to be eighteen? Yeah. Eighteen you could go. That's crazy. That's good. NBA. That's, 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 that's turning eighteen next year, right? <laughs> I'm so hyped! Just can't <laughs> I'm wait so to hyped. join. Can't wait to join the NBA <laughs> with the Knicks. Uh, 
I think they suggest one year of like D League or something, maybe that you have to do if you don't go to college. That's. I think you have to do one year D League or something. If you're not, could be wrong about that, but I'm not sure. That's good. I. That's a good a little bargain, I guess. Because going to college and then having to do a few more years, it's 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 a pain in the ass. But you could just go straight from high school. So much better. Skip that whole step. If y'all so, haven't heard um, about mm-hmm. this person, they have been in kind of a controversy. She's very popular Jeez. on TV. Anybody? Anybody? Oh, Ellen. Me? Yes, Ellen. If you haven't oh. heard, I actually don't know anything about it. So you, you can know what I know me. about that. You open on Snapchat and you go to your right and you see the little stories at the mm. like that show up on the right. I see her face there. But I never really? press it because Daily Mail. Yeah. Okay, so let me say what it is. <laughs> so about Ellen, she is looking to get replaced um, by by James Corden. James Corden. <laughs> yeah, yes. I did hear about this. <laughs> so oh, really? if, you, if you don't know uh, why, it's because actually this. I think this started with like the whole cancel culture thing. Like people were just talking. Like behind the scenes of of people who have worked in who is working in her mm-hmm. show or have worked like they just it started like that route like they haven't been treated right or whatever, and then Ellen like a few weeks ago said oh like I'm I'll try to do my best or whatever and like if you feel uncomfortable like I'll try to um accommodate anything like try to make it better but people weren't having that and then just bring up a whole bunch of other drama and more things on her and about the show so it just got mm-hmm. a whole thing and so like Warner Brothers actually owns. Like the lot where Ellen um, does her show, and so mm. they potentially might cancel her show, um, and a lot of people aren't really happy with that. Some people see it one way, some people see it the other way, but also they were saying to try <coughs> to put James Corden onto that to take her spot. Okay, yeah. but what was said is it just. Well, that, no, that she was rude to people. This is this is she Ellen. Was, she this was is... rude to people yeah. like guests and shit. You like can't that. just be like. Oh, Rude, you gotta be like, it was, no, it said that was well, sexual misconduct, yeah. and, oh, misconduct I, 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 and, uh, but not not against her, not against against other staff members and producers on the show, and her is mainly of the treating people like badly or talking about and stuff like that. Um, but the sexual stuff has been with other people around and like producer wise, and that has brought up during the the whole process. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that part. Yeah. So I mean, it seems like we're gonna we're. I don't want to talk too much about Rumors, that part of it because stuff. I don't know the facts. And yeah, obviously there, we're just there's um, not an official thing. There's misinformation. Yeah, obviously. but what I can talk about two things, dog. This is and I just thought about this right now. Fam, Ellen has already hinted in, in retirement for the last four or five years. So if her show gets canceled next year. I don't think she's sweating it. Yeah, and this is aside from just how we would feel about why she should get canceled. Mm-hmm. I agree that she should, but I'm just saying like in her stance, like she's been thinking about retiring talk show for so many years now. No, yeah, so I don't I, feel like I, she would like, I, I feel like she wouldn't be tripping with that things, but if more one. things bad about her keep coming out, I think that'll be a bad look on her though. Like, it'll... no, whatever she did, if it's true, she uh-huh. has coming what she deserves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Or she deserves what she has coming. Yeah. But if we're just saying like on some like money reasons or she's been thinking about retiring anyways. Mm-hmm. Now, James Gordon, I think he's a lit replacement because just out of the strength that his his enthusiasm, his personality, mm-hmm. he can sing, he can dance. Um, and he already has a late night talk show. So it's it's like perfect transition. Um, I don't personally sit there and watch I don't think I've ever watched the Ellen show So I don't know what James Gordon what could do there? worse Or better like mm. Specifically but if he's just doing another Talk show at a different time slot He's gonna do fine <laughs> Like yeah. I don't know the other details but It's kind of weird because it is her show it's With her name so how do you bring him Into it like that so They're definitely gonna have to change it Yeah it's just that weird situation and it's it's I, I've seen a couple Ellen um shows that are come on. It's it's mostly comes on like early evening and stuff like four. Yeah, it's like around, one or two. Yeah, around that time. Um, yeah, it's like prime time probably. Yeah, and he for he, that type of he does like late twelve p- um mm-hmm. p- a.m. um l- late night shows and stuff like that. 
So if he does switch over, he already has that type of platform. Like he's yeah, fun, yeah. energetic. Easy he has the car yeah. show thing, the car karaoke, and he's car good with um with people and stuff like that. So I can see that, but I don't know if it's a hundred percent gonna happen. I yeah. like that. I like I like James Corden a lot. The guy's funny. It's a shame. I I actually liked Ellen. I thought she was pretty. She's a pretty funny character, but um, no, unfortunately, she did, if she did all this shit, like, yeah, she deserves it. Yeah, I mean, I haven't heard any anything of like what she's actually done. It's just people saying she's been rude. If if she's just being rude, then honestly, yeah, yeah. this is just. So, I don't. I don't care. I would just leave your. You could so keep your show rumors. if you're just being rude, because. Yeah, this I don't think I know there's hella rude though. people. It, it wouldn't be, be something like yeah, real serious. Be all this fuss just over being rude. And if, I don't think they should replace her either. If you're gonna. If you want James Corden to take over this time slot, you cancel her show and make a new show. I, I think, think, you bring I think that's, what's I think that's yeah. I think that's what they're. Trying. Yeah, I don't think you bring him on to just uh, replace 2. and 0. keep the same show. Yeah, yeah, that's no. crazy, dog. Man- this now the bigger conversation was probably with Chris. I don't know if you were going with this, but everybody's replaceable. Yeah. Even if you fucking Ellen, <laughs> like yep. the fact that they were so quick to, well, just get James Corden, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying, like no, definitely, man. You think people especially are untouchable on, though, in this but, time, especially yeah. in this times. People think you know they're untouchable and they're they're they'll 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 get humbled. Is basically what I'm saying. Like people will get humble easily, and there's other people out there. Imagine James Gordon. You you know how happy he's probably is right now. Like I'm about to get an Ellen. <laughs> Like placement for the most part, or whatever. Um, now, again, for the viewers, we are talking within and out of context. We're not a hundred percent sure on what the happened? what's really being said, or you know what I'm saying. But we're just like assuming, and and if we get our facts next week, we'll come back and retouch the, on the subject with more hardcore evidence of what's really happening within that realm. Yeah, but it's uh, interesting. That is, I did hear about that. It's 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 just a conversation to talk about, but are we really gonna be like? <laughs> none of us watch the Ellen show like that. So it's... Yeah. No, but she does have uh, she has a big following too. No, of course, a lot of course. Of Hell yeah. and... All yeah. the Donias be at home watching <laughs> watching Ellen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I feel you a hundred percent. Yeah, I I take it more as a a big industry like move. Like, what's gonna happen here? Like how. How are they going to move? Because it, it kind of tells you where the industry is and willing to do or not do moving forward. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we'll see. And like you said, like anybody's replaceable, man. <laughs> that is just a sad thing. Like Hollywood and that that spotlight is quick. With like they mm-hmm. they don't want to seem like the ones looking bad, so they they try to find right. a new thing. To, and if we're being real, it. real for another podcast, I'm sure there's deeper things going on than just. I was gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll heard, say that. Oh no! <laughs> I, I heard a TikTok theory, this guy oh, but goodness. I'm gonna leave it for already disqualified. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. No, there's there's no, Ellen yeah. has been on the web for other reasons yeah. that are not good at all for the last like two months. We'll leave it. We can leave it there. Yeah, we've heard. Some so <laughs> I'm assuming, you know, it's not just one thing. I, I think it's a lot of things that are happening within her life yeah. that she just needs to get get it together. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we'll so, just, yeah, we'll leave it at that. We'll end it there. <laughs> Do your own research. Right. And we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> this has been another episode of Planet of Doubt. I believe this is, again, episode 12. Yes. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. If you made it this far, we appreciate you. Um, in the comment below, let us know: Is it disrespectful for Kanye and Drake to go on a versus battle? Who do you guys have as the nominees for all these the NBA awards? Do you think James Gordon is a good replacement for Ellen? And if not, who do you think should mm-hmm. or could get that position? Actually, and go check out our versus battle review. Uh, let us know if you liked it. Uh, let us know what you enjoyed about it, so we could keep working on the construction of the video. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Hit the post notification button. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Peace. Peace out.